Hello everyone and welcome to a Static Grass Creation Studio update. Today we have a Relic Knight's army, my personal army, which is Black Diamond. I picked up all this stuff at PAX earlier this year in September. Um, I've been following the Soda Pop miniatures a little bit for Relic Knights since their Kickstarter. And now that all this stuff is in plastic, I wanted to get an army. I also got uh, some of my friends into this as well. So once their stuff is all finished, then we'll probably get to some playing. These guys are known as the Diamond Corpse. Every, every unit comes with uh, stat cards and ability cards. Here's the stats and then here's the abilities that they can do. Uh, these these didn't come with sleeves, so I sleeved them myself. Uh, on the back is the symbol of their affiliation, I believe. And then up here is the faction symbol. Now for these infantry, um, I wanted to go for a stormtrooper or a starship trooper kind of vibe, but then uh, they just kind of turned into Imperial Guard Cadians from Warhammer 40k. Uh, so I just went with that. The bases are all from Secret Weapon Miniatures. So these are the uh, urban streets and trench works. And I'm not sure about this one. I think that's Swamp. This one is the PC-9 Breaker team. Uh, as you can see, they are a heavy weapons team. Um, like the others, this, well, this is actually a custom made base. This isn't uh, the trench works from Secret Weapon Miniatures. Um, the planks here are balsa wood and then uh, flocked with regular sand. This is a chunk of plaster or some kind of soft of uh, res easily breakable resin. It's just kind of very chalky. So you can make bullet holes and scorch marks and stuff on it really easily. And then these, these little um, large caliber bullet rounds or bullet casings are beads from my local craft store. This thing is just a muzzle flash from a different company, I can't remember who. And yeah, they're painted the same as the Diamond Court Infantry. I think it looks pretty good. This is the M8 Blitz Auto Tank. I had fun doing this one um just it's like a i guess like a remote control tank or something or like a single person tank it's just it's not even as tall as the uh, infantry model um i did like just like the pc9 breaker team has muzzle flash but this time i did some very distinct osl some object source lighting so it looks like it's you know the light is reflecting off the armor and the treads. Um, unfortunately, you can't see the details inside or on the base. I thought I did a really good job and then suddenly the tank covers it all. Um, but there, were, I laid some bricks in there and there's bullet casings or shell casings in there as well. And again, that chunk of chalky plaster stuff. It looks a little bit more dynamic. These three ninjas here are the Suspect Seven. Um, her backstory is that she's a bunch of clones or something, and people have tried to kill her, or they've seen her die, but then just, you know, more of her just keeps popping up. That's the basis of, or that's the backstory for her. Um, for each of these, I tried to uh, follow color schemes from Akali from League of Legends. 
but I think I made the yellow one a little bit too sportsy. Now she's she has like a soccer jersey or something on. Um, this the poses here are a little bit hard to get some detail shots in. Like she has a she has a mask, one of those oni masks or whatever they're called. And the base was custom made. So I have some water effects in there. It's kind of like she's uh, running on a pond or running into a pond or some some still water. And there's a little bit of a path with like a little lantern or ornament there. Same with her. This one's, I guess, easiest to see the details on the model. This here is a special character for the army. Uh, her name is Sophia Drake, leader of the Black Dragons, uh, heavy infantry, or the assault infantry, or something like that. It's, it's a set of models that isn't released yet. Since this is a new game, there's still a whole bunch of stuff that isn't released yet, but so far they're doing pretty well. And for Sophia Drake, she has uh, black armor, well, very, very dark armor, just like in the card, her uh, artwork. And for her base, I did bricks. I laid some bricks onto the base, and over here where she's grinding the ground to dust basically um, I broke I broke a whole bunch of bricks and just laid them so that it looks like she's destroying the ground with the force of her kick or landing This is another special character. I like to call him definitely not Solid Snake, but uh, his name is Iron Chef. So, because he's very ninja-like, I made his base themed uh, similar to the ninjas, so look, so it can look like their bases are connected in some way. Like that so it looks like. They have a path going on. <laughs> we'll just a little bit tie in some more of the narrative into my army. But he's got carrots here, <laughs> which I thought was pretty hilarious. And you got the gray armor. Sword. Yep. And lastly, we have. My commander, Leo, uh, Leopold Magnus, and his cipher, or familiar, uh, static, this guy. We'll go to static first. Static I painted uh, purple, they're very, they're, I guess they're like energy orientated or um, psychically orientated, so I gave them little like blue streaks. I don't know if you can see that, but he has blue streaks on his back, as well as this base is has blue in some places to show some some rises in power there. Leopold, <laughs> I wanted to try my hand at uh, non-metallic effects or just having a metallic effect without metal paint. So I have the super high contrasting armor here on the leg, feet, as well as the body up here as well. Very minor OSL on the shining blue orbs over him. Uh, his cape is very, very waxy looking. That was intentional, by the way. 
make it kind of look like it's uh, heavier, I guess. And he's standing on custom base as well. So I hope that was pretty neat. Uh, I, I really like these models. They're fairly dynamic, very good looking. Um, and I'm really looking forward to playing some of these games with these uh, with this army. Static Grass Creations is a professional miniature model painting and assembly company. Check us out at www.staticgrasscreations.com for more information. Set up a project today and let's bring some miniatures to life. If you like what you see, give this video a like and don't forget to subscribe.